Welcome to 90 Second England number three, brought to you by the English Labour Network. Shadow Community Secretary Andrew Gwynne has welcomed our new St George's Day briefing for Labour, England and St George. Andrew says that Labour members everywhere should stand up for a progressive England and there's no better way to do this than every CLP holding its own St George's Day celebrations this April. And this week, Andrew said that 44% of Labour's programme will need to be implemented by local government in England. Labour will establish a monthly consultative commission between councils and ministers. The background, of course, is that while funding for Scottish and Welsh councils has increased, under the UK government, English council funding has been cut by 26%. With yet more talk about a new breakaway party, let's remember that the people with no voice in England are not pro-EU centrists, but left of centre but socially conservative voters. Bristol academic Paula Surridge and pollsters BMG say that one in seven voters are in this proud and patriotic state group. Labour doesn't need a new party. It needs to find common ground between those voters and metropolitan liberals. Writing in this week's New Statesman, Gloria de Piero MP says we will never get a Labour government without assembling a coalition of the working class and the liberal middle class. Gloria is hosting the next English Labour Network Winning England event in Ashfield on the 2nd of March. Do come along for a lively discussion. Eighty years ago, Orwell talked of a Europeanised intelligentsia being the only people immune to English patriotism. It reminds us of recent research from the Centre for English Identity and Politics, which says there's still a small group of people who say they're British, not English, who are much more liberal, cosmopolitan and much less patriotic than the rest of the country. Some things don't seem to change. Finally, regular tweeter Gareth Young gets in touch to tell us about a Tory NHS direct mail that forgets to say which country it's talking about. Call it England. We hope you've enjoyed this 90 Second England. Do visit our website and let us know what you think we should cover in the future.